a year ago is really building my influence. Now, how do you build your influence? There's a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna kind of give you some quick tips. It's really getting your name out there and really connecting with everybody out there in the community. All right, I tell this story all the time when I moved out in Maria, I didn't know anybody. I'm an introvert, you guys probably don't believe that, I'm an introvert, right? I have to turn into an extrovert, right? So, you know, I always wanted to, I worked in lending, I made good, I was good in lending because all I had to do is have a phone and a computer in front of me and leads, right? I didn't have to like meet and greet, I didn't have to do lunch and learn, buy people lunch, like some of these uh, realtors, lenders, people do, and that's okay. You know, I was just, hey, you know, leads, but I knew if I want to transition, actually build my influence, where it's not just dependent on me have to generate money on leads every month, I have to work on building my influence. And the great part of where we are right now, as uh, we have Andrew here, is we're in the greatest era right now, right? You don't agree, Andrew? <laughs> in business, isn't it, for to be an entrepreneur? Are, are, most people here are entrepreneurs, even if you're working back, you're still an entrepreneur, I mean, as long as you have that mindset that, hey, this is not the end game, there's something bigger out there for me, right? So, this is the best time to be an entrepreneur or to really think about business, right? Don't you agree? Why Definitely. is that? Social media. Social media has transformed the business world upside down head. People that were great in real estate, they thought, oh yeah, I've been doing real estate for 30 years. It's changed right now. You can't compare what you did 30 years ago, even, even five years ago, even a year ago, the success. Because the market and the industry is changing right now, especially in real estate. So that's why you have to be staying on top of the game. But I would say is, if you continue working on your influences, the people that between now, next three, five years, and so forth, that work on building their brand, building their influence, are gonna succeed, doesn't matter if you're doing real estate, loans, it's really good about building that influence, guys, right? So that's really what I focus on every day. And, uh, and it's so easy right now, as, as Lorraine said, we should be farming every day after on Facebook, we should be. Facebook right now is a beast, guys. If you don't know it, Facebook is a beast. Mark Zuckerberg, look it out for you, hashtag Mark, right? Okay, I'm not gonna give a shout out to Mark, because he's listening, right? So, <laughs> so it's really important that we're really uh, uh, focused, right? I mean, well, I tell people all the story all the time is, I don't go out there, on Facebook, whether it be this group, or farming on Facebook looking for leads for me. I do that as a bonus, if I find Trip on a lead, great, right? And I did, I had a couple leads that I was like, while well, sparring for my group, I was able to find buyers, and actually a couple of buyers that I actually have commun I'm in communication now with, right? I actually have one of my one of my members that actually visited this group. I actually just visited this group a couple of times. I actually even had her sub, right? She actually goes on Facebook, and now I'm actually working on listing her son, actually son-in-law's house, right? That wouldn't have happened if I wasn't out there networking and actually look, thinking, I was like, hey, I'm not trying to get, she wasn't like, oh, I'm looking to sell, I want you come to a group, no. I was like, hey, she's, she's uh, you know, she, uh, actually, let me tell you the story, so you guys got the content, basically. I actually, how it started is actually for this one story is, I was actually on one of the posts, like real estate talks, right? And all that, and I was communicating, and then she actually liked what I said on the thread. It wasn't like, hey, I'm the best realtor out there. I kind of just gave a quick, a tip and advice and so forth, it's like, hey, there's a lot of great realtors out there. I'll be happy, I mean, hopefully I'm one of the lucky uh, few that you choose to actually represent you or an interview. If you ever have time, give me a call. And then I should probably answer you. But she actually liked my post and she actually, uh, we had a terrible conversation and I said, hey, thank you for liking my post, liking my thread, and it's like, hey, what do you do by the way, right? Now it's like, hey, are you looking by yourself? No, what do you do, right? What? Right, think about, you know, and people are asked like, how do, what do I say to these people, right? After I see that, how do I message them, right? You guys wanna know what, how to message them, right? Like, I don't know, I mean, for those that don't farm every day on Facebook, what do you say? Like, okay, there's a, there's a guy that I wanna uh, approach. Whether it be, I told Tony this, farm five lenders a day, right? Five a day, you doing that, Tony? Yeah. Right, he's doing it, <laughs> right? Is that, if that's your power partner, you should be farming for five lenders a day, and lenders, for the most part, are on Facebook or social media because they want to build relationships as well, just like realtors. So you got to know how you, you uh, message these guys. And and actually, when we were doing our social media workshop, actually when Sydney was doing about a, a week or a couple weeks ago, so one of the members on the post said, hey, okay, great, but I don't know these people, what do I say? That's real simple. It's what do you say when you meet somebody? Farming is no different if you're door knocking or online, right? When you're meeting somebody in an event or in like a party, unless of course they're like me, I'm in the corner, like, with food, right? 
drink coffee and tell you, you know, you finally bring the drinks out. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm ready. It's game time, right? But you find something to compliment them with, right? Compliment them. Who here can doesn't know how to compliment? I know girls are used to getting the compliments, but right? Who here doesn't know how to compliment people? Who here can't find ways to find compliment? Right? It doesn't matter what it is. Like I mean, we do that all the time. We don't even know. But when you're liking somebody's post, you're complimenting them, right? You don't even realize you're complimenting when you like the post or you're viewing the Snapchat, right? Because you're actually like, oh, I'm interested in what you're saying. Even though you're doing some some filter, some crazy stuff, you're still interested. So you, that's even compliment there. But find a way to compliment that. If you have mutual friends, even better. If you don't have mutual friends, you know how the easy way to get mutual friends? Add more friends, right? <laughs> Add more friends. There's a reason why I can farm maybe 20, 30 minutes a day and generate 40 to 50 leads for my network. It's because I have a good network that I can farm, right? If you have 20 people on your fence, that's not going to give you much to farm, right? So really, you gotta you gotta increase your influence and just find a way to compliment them. Say, hey, thank, hey, I love that picture, Andrew. You know, oh, I love that shirt. Is that a, you know, a money suit or whatever it is, or Hey, you know, that's a great profile pic. Who's your photographer you use? Right? Whatever it is. Something is, hey, I mean, I love your success in, in Prime America. You're doing well. I mean, so whatever it is, find a, find a way to compliment them and get that get the conversation started that way as well. They might not respond right away, but just compliment and add them as a friend, right? And then if you're smart, if you have a business page, have them like your business page, right? If they're not liking your business page, you might want to say, hey, yeah, oh, hey, hey, buddy, I know you're doing well. You know, you're very busy with your, your, your business you're doing right now. Can you do me a favor? I'm trying to build my business online as well. If you can do me a favor, it shouldn't take no more than five seconds. Can you go ahead and like my business page? Is that attacking somebody? Is that, hey, come on, like my page? No. I mean, if so I got a message like, oh, oh, sure, my bad. Like it, boom. Simple, right? As long as it's not something that doesn't represent who I am, right? You know, make sure to check those things. I made a mistake that way too. I just don't like everybody. Oh, what the heck am I seeing my feet, right? So make sure to also check first. But really, that boils down to is really go ahead and make sure you guys are are focusing and engaging out there. That's, it's easy to farm out there. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and out out more detail when I when we actually do a class because everybody wants to generate leads. Leads are easy. Leads are out there everywhere. And the great thing with Facebook, that's why Facebook is always increasing the amount of viewer users, right? That's not going to go away anytime soon. Right, Andrew? It's not going away anytime soon. We're still going to be out there, right? For at least another year. Right, so we can focus on business on Facebook. Snapchat, I know Sierra's most. Snapchat's going to be big. I mean, I'm starting to bring a, a Snapchat or Instagram, all these other. Those are the real three ones, right? Twitter, maybe, but Twitter's kind of fading. You know? But if you like Twitter, it's good too, but you can connect them too. But do you have any questions as far as farming, real quick? I mean, this is an, wasn't going to be a workshop, but I just want to make sure you guys understand. Just, just go out there in your record uh, you know, daily activities and just engage with people, right? All, all life is all about is connecting, right? You want to know the key to success in life? Connect with people, right? Connect with people. That's simple. Just be the faucet, not the drain, right? That's all you gotta do, right? Be the faucet, not the drain, right? So, and that's what I like to do with everybody I connect with. So understand that, you know, it's reciprocity, right? You know, you give back, if I'm able to find a lead or whether it be a lead online or if I'm able to connect with Andrew, with somebody that he's looking for, that's gonna help his business, hey, I'll be like, oh, right, I did my job, right? And I'm hoping down the road, as I continue to cultivate that, just like the Chinese bamboo tree, for those who are here, as we'll continue to cultivate that without expecting any results for those three, four, five years, I know eventually, I'm gonna reward that, and that chance of tree is gonna grow up like 90 feet in six weeks, right? So with that said, like I said, I want you guys to understand that we're here at the Mastermind Network, we're really helping to try to help each other's business. We're not just about referrals, we're really about trying to generate leads